it's hot. I mean, it's really hot. Hello and welcome to MidnightSilverCrafters.com. My name is Steve and I'll be your host. Today in this video, we're going to build an awesome burnout oven for under 50 bucks. Okay, well now today we're going to talk about this uh, this burnout oven. Now, I'm going to show you how you can make a burnout oven to do your, uh, for your lost wax jewelry castings. And this thing is absolutely amazing. And I promise you that this burnout oven is going to work just as good as any burnout oven that you're going to buy, any commercial burnout oven. And uh, as you probably already know, burnout ovens are not cheap. Uh, when I first started getting into this, uh, when I first started getting into lost wax casting and jewelry casting, at first I thought I wasn't going to be able to afford it. But then I, then I, you know, just started thinking, well, because I can build stuff, okay? And I started thinking, I can build me a burnout oven, okay? Now, this burnout oven is dead simple, okay? It's really, really, really simple. And all it is, if you're, what you're looking at is an old-timey antique hot plate, okay? Now, these are the... These are the type hot plates that have the coils. They, they have the electric, the, the wire wound coils running around on the top. And they have a ceramic burner on the top. And they have no control for the heat. It's on and off, okay? That's it, it's on and off. There's no low, medium, and high. But these hot plates, these old hot plates, are what you need to get. You need to find one of these. Now, I, I found this one on eBay for like 25 bucks, shipping included. You look around, you can find them, okay? And it doesn't have to look exactly like this one, but the only thing that matters is you get those, elect, those coils, those wire wound coils on the top. Now, you're only gonna need one burner, okay? Um, you know, if you can't find a double one, then that's fine. But uh, you just need one. You need one burner, okay? And it's dead simple. But look on eBay. Look in, you know, go to some junk stores. Look around. You, you'll, you'll find one. They're, they're not that hard to find. I, I find them often, okay? Now, all we're going to do, it's dead simple, all right? Now, one thing you can do it is you can just take this hot plate and you can get you a flower pot. You can you can get you a clay flower pot. Okay, make sure it's the the, the you know the, the clay type pots, okay? And find a pot, a flower pot that'll just fit over the top of that burner. It'll just go down over the burner, okay? And, and all you do, you set your mold on that burner and you put that clay, you put that clay pot over that, over your mold, okay? Or your molds. You, you can put two or three, it depends on the size of uh, flask or I use food cans as a flask. And they work great. That's all I use is food cans. But you can put, if you're making small little small cans like a six or eight ounce tomato paste can if you're doing a couple rings or something you can put about four of those in there at a time or you can put a couple bigger cans like 16 ounce but you'll have you'll have plenty of room for, for doing quite a bit of casting because you, you can make a tree and you can tree your parts up and in a in a uh, 16 ounce food can I can get 15 different pieces of jewelry and that's plenty okay so it's dead simple but you can get a clay flower pot okay now I'm gonna show you something better than the clay flower pot the clay flower pot will work okay but now you, you can wrap some aluminum foil around the outside of the clay pot 
okay and that will help retain the heat now this thing gets crazy hot okay and and you only need to burn your molds out in this thing for five hours you, you take your mold as soon as the investment's dry you put it in your oven in your household oven at 220 degrees and you leave it in there for two hours and then you bring it out here and you already have your uh, your hot plate turned on and you have your you already have it heating up well your uh, molds in the oven so that it's 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 maintaining the, the temperature and then you put your mold on there and put it under that pot and you leave it for five hours and you'll have an absolute perfect burnout this thing gets over this thing gets over a thousand degrees on the inside when you capture that heat around there now now clay, uh, clay flower pot will work but I'm going to show you this right here this is something better that you can build now now this right here all this is is an old aluminum pot but you see you see right here all right now I got I got some refractory that I mixed up all right now I got I got a video where I cover this refractory exactly how to make it so I'm not going to cover it right here today on this video this is just a short video on, on building the burnout of them, but I got a, I got an aluminum pot here. Now you can see that this pot is okay. It's uh, it's 11 inches inside on the diameter of my pot. Okay, and I made me some refractory, and I got about I got about two about two to three inches of refractory all around that pot. Okay, it's just an old aluminum cooking pot with an 11 inch diameter. And I cut the bottom out, I took an angle grinder and I cut the bottom out of it and I put that refractory around it. Now this pot with the bottom cut out with the refractory works a lot better than the clay pot. The clay pot will work if you don't have anything else, the clay pot will work. But if you can do it and it's not hard at all, um, Look at look at my video, my furnace video. I, I show a kick-ass furnace in my furnace video, and I go through the whole thing of exactly how to build it, how to run it, and everything. You can build that furnace for under a hundred bucks, and for casting jewelry and doing lost wax casting, you can't beat that furnace. Uh, watch that video. It, I'll put a link up here to my to my furnace video, okay? And in that furnace video, I'll show you how you make this refractory. Now, this is a special mix that I came up with, and as far as refractory goes, it is the best you can get, all right? But all it is, it's made out of three things, okay? And down here, I'll show you real quick. I got a bag of fire clay. I got some silica sand, that's pool sand, but it's, it's silica sand, fire clay, silica sand, and a little bit of perlite. And the, and the ratio is two-thirds of fire clay to one-third sand, and you add in a little bit of perlite, and then you mix up some sodium silicate, okay, and you, you moisten your mix with that. Watch my furnace video if you want to see more details on the refractory. But there you go. There's your burnout oven. Simple, easy. Now, if you can't find a hot plate like this, you can use, you can actually also use a Coleman camping stove. The little ones that have two burners, you can use one of those. And you can take the same exact thing. You can put this pot over, over top of that burner. You set your mold, now you set your mold right down on the burner, okay? Now, if you're lucky enough to find uh, a hot plate like this, see, I took one side of mine, it quit working, so I took this ceramic plate out, and what I do, I take this ceramic plate, which came from this side because it quit working, and I just lay it on top of this like this, okay? And then I set my mold on here, okay? But but you don't have to have it like this. You can put them right on there. But 
your, your coil might burn out on you, okay? And if it does, all you do is just take a, a pair of pliers and twist that wire back together and it's good to go. I've had that coil break probably 50 times, but I just twist it back together and, it, and it's good to go. All right, now that's it. I mean, it's dead simple. Okay, but now when you when you go to use this thing, it's gonna it's gonna smoke. Okay, that wax will start dripping out, and it'll actually it'll actually come. Sometimes it'll actually catch on, catch on fire down on the inside, but it don't hurt a thing. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Sometimes it'll. Usually, if you, if you leave it in the oven for two hours at 220 degrees in your house, all the wax will be out, most of the wax, and it'll only just be a little bit of residue that's burning off. Because the wax starts to melt at 160 degrees and it starts dripping out of the hole, and it'll all mostly be out of there. But if it's, it might smoke, it's gonna smoke a little bit at first. Not a big deal, and it may catch on fire, but it's not a big deal. It's not a huge fire and it's not a problem. I've burned out hundreds, maybe more than hundreds. I've burned out lots and lots and lots of molds. I've been doing this, I've been doing lost wax casting a long, long time and I've never used any other equipment other than all the equipment that I've built myself homemade equipment now look right there's my casting cable see it's dead simple i got a whole video on that it's easy to make you make that casting table for about 30 bucks you, you get about you spend about 30 bucks and you get one of these ovens right here just like this and then you go out and you, you get yourself a mixing bowl a 10 quart mixing bowl from walmart and you build yourself a kick-ass furnace for under a hundred bucks. All right, that's about it. I think I'll just wrap this one up right here. It's been great. Uh, please, please, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. I'll be teaching lost wax. Also, I do silver smithing and I do stone cutting and everything else related to jewelry making. So, you know, it'd be great for you to subscribe. You'll learn a lot. And I've been doing this stuff a long time. But I would ask you, if you'll do me one great big favor, I would really, really appreciate it. If you, would, if you do subscribe to my channel, would you please, if you would, in the, in the comments, if you'll just leave a comment for me saying, I subscribe. If you would do that for me, that would be awesome. Well, I'm really looking forward to having you back on my next video. But uh, there you go, there's your burnout oven, so you know, you're good to go. Couple bucks, easy to make, simple to make. If you don't have the pot like that, and you don't want to mix the refractory, get a clay flower pot, but this is a lot better. I'll, I'm telling you that this pot with the refractory is a lot better. Well, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this one up. My name is Steve, and I'll talk to you in the next video.